Hello everyone, this will be a channel update of sorts. I'm getting a lot of text messages right now, so we're going to hear a lot of that. And that's actually my watch, not my phone. My phone's on silent. Alright, so, uh, I have to find out what's going on because I didn't get an Enterprise shipment this month. So I'm about to go downstairs and do that, but I want this video rendering while I do it. Um, I do have two or three Enterprise videos to upload. I did build one Gundam model in the last month, and I will get around to posting those videos, probably starting tomorrow. The problem with the way I'm recording them is I record them on my laptop, but I can't really upload them well from my laptop. It's a gaming laptop, and it's got an SSD hard drive without a lot of space, and the videos fill it up quickly. So I have to hook an external disk up to it, transfer it to another computer, and upload that way. And that's slowing me down too much. So i got to figure out a solution to this. I'm going to attempt recording straight to the hard drive next time I make a video with my new method. And I should have fixed the problems with that overhead camera. So there's some good stuff there. Now, I'm starting another channel. Well, it's not really started. It's been there. I'm going to start blogging. Okay? I'm going to talk about my kids, divorce, that sort of thing there. My life experiences. It's just going to be a blog. Um, and the video, the follows on this update are going to be kind of the first video over on my blog. So you'll get a preview of what's going on. I'll put the description in the link so everyone can see what's going. I mean, can follow if they want. I'm going to continue modeling here, but I want modeling separate from that. I don't want to mix the two. So it will be a separate channel. All right. What proceeds after here will be kind of the starting of the blog. All right, everyone. Um, what we got going on here is just a short video. This has actually been cleaned up dramatically. Uh, I had a bunch of hoarders in this house. And when I went through the divorce, I got the house just due to various issues. <laughs> We're not going to get into too much on how things worked in the divorce. Because, yeah, I'm getting a lot of text messages right now. Um, because I don't want to spread ill will. This is actually one of the cleaner rooms. This house was full of possessions. And I do mean full crazy full almost every room was hoarded up just full of stuff there's only a couple that weren't all right and if we walk this way yeah it's nighttime here's another room that's that way now this room is my own personal responsibility and this is my hobby room um i have a youtube channel that's a hobby based channel so I set up a room for it, and this room's tax deductible, so is everything I purchase that goes in this room. So I tend to be a little excessive with my purchases. And I'm going to start selling off some of this stuff as soon as I get through selling furniture around the house. Okay? But anyhow, we take a look around here. You can see that there's a lot of possessions in here. And I'm going to take you downstairs in a minute, and there's going to be a jump in the video when I do, so you can see some of the other rooms that are this way. So it's not just this room, okay? I've had to spend a lot of time purging this house. Now I'm gonna walk this way. And this is one of the rooms I've redone. And it's still pretty messy. And this is the seven-year-old's room. She told me today that it has to be cleaned up and purged. And I told her, yep, next time you're here, that's what you're doing. We are not gonna live in a house like this. So she has to get rid of about a third of her possessions, toys, anyhow. Which, some I'll let her get rid of, some I won't. We need to redo some of these decorations in this room a little bit. Okay, like the Godzilla kind of clashes with the cat photos, the way I see it. But this is the seven-year-old's room, and if we walk around here, we will see. And I let the girls pick some of the artwork, so that huge horse was picked by both the seven-year-old and the four-year-old. They both wanted it, so we got the horse hanging on the wall. So we walk this way, this room, and there's lights on all the windows. They're just turned off right now. This room right here is, this is the two-year-old's bed. They have a big play tent, and this is the four-year-old's bed. And we've got lots of toys in here, too, and this room is kind of crowded. It's big enough to have two of them in here, 
but just barely. They're going to have to purge some toys as well. Okay? When we look out here, we have, this is a shelf where when they leave stuff in the house, I put it on the shelf, and they have to put it away from there. So that's what this is, and we've got some stuff on the floor that needs to be taken care of. Now, while the girls are here, I sleep in this room for now. So this is my room, and it's the same. It needs to be purged down quite a bit of stuff. We've got stuff everywhere in this room. I'm working on it. I mean, we've got, I've gotten rid of probably two-thirds of the toys that were in this house already. And we're down to one-third. This is an example right here. Look at all the gift bags. This is nothing but a huge pile of gift bags. I don't need all these gift bags. So I'm going to see if the ex wants them. If she does, she may have them. If not, they'll end by the curb. Because I'm not going to keep this stuff. And I've got some stuff over here I need to get rid of as well. Okay. And again, I sleep up here when the girls are here because they sleep upstairs. All right. I'm going to stop for a minute and wander downstairs and restart recording there. Here's another room I'm in the process of purging. Everything on the table is going to go away. The table and chairs are for sale. This buffet is for sale. And I'm learning that people don't want to buy old furniture. It's really strange. Never expected that because three, four years ago, I would have had this table sold already for the price it's at. And when it's gone, I have a plan for this area. This coffee table will go over there. It's just over here right now, kind of temporary. This is, I gather all the toys the girls left downstairs that don't belong on this table, and I'm slowly moving them upstairs. This room here, let me get the lights on in here, is one of the ones that needs purging. The whole entire house looked like this. It's been a lot of work going through this. Now, my ex finds this, of course, there's going to be comments. They're saying that the boarding was my fault and that, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, we're not going to get into that. It's just the whole house has looked like this and it doesn't anymore. And I'm slowly getting it better. And I've changed almost all the decorations in the house. None of the artwork on the walls was here while she was here. For example, this room. I got rid of the coffee table. I got rid of the couch. And I am going to get rid of that TV stand. I'm going to put the TV up on the wall. I'm going to put a much smaller TV stand here. And that will clear this room up and make it better. Over here, I'm getting rid of the funeral home flowers, if you can see them. We get some lights on in here. This was completely clean yesterday, but I had a seven-year-old here today who just turned seven, and she left some messes. I won't lie, okay? And some of her stuff is over in that corner. But this was cleaned up just a few days ago. Completely cleaned up. Okay? There was nothing in the counters. None of that. When you're going through and cleaning things, you got to move it somewhere. And that's kind of what's happening is I'm cleaning out cabinets. And I bring it in here and set it here. And then I decide from here where it's going to go. If I keep it or throw it away. Like this pile of USB cables here. I will go through them and see what's good, what's not. Uh, the phone charger there. And decide what I keep and what I throw away. Okay. Hopefully that didn't show up on the camera. All right. Now, looking out here. I've completely redone the back porch. And I'm about to do more. Okay. Uh, we don't have good lighting. Well, we'll have to deal with the night vision of this camera. Um, I've redone all the cushions, gotten rid of things, put a rug in. I'm about to get rid of that umbrella and put a new umbrella in, get rid of this. <sighs> get rid of one of the barbecue pits because I have two barbecue pits, which I'm not going to be using anymore unless I start really entertaining heavily. And I added some LED lights on the porch. Now, some of you might ask yourself, why are you going around and changing everything like this? Like the lamps are new, the table's new. Well, I got a good price on these tables and these lamps, by the way. Why are you doing this? Okay, and here's another area that just totally needs to be purged. Look at this mess. This is how the house was left for me. Okay, and same thing over here. This is how the house was left for me. Just stuff everywhere. This room's been completely purged. No furniture. Okay. 
and I've got to set up the exercise equipment. I got to decide what to do with these two purple chairs. I was left with a year's food storage for two people, so it's in this closet, and there's enough water for someone for three, for two or three people for six months in this house somewhere, and it's going to end up in this closet. And again, I have completely purged this this room. This is what I'm shooting for. Okay, the garage, same thing, big big mess. And I've purged this down. I had it good enough to get a couple of uh, get two cars in here at one point. Yes, that mess over there is because I like to do painting, and that's my painting corner. I want to get some shelves. Hey, I was going to throw that away. I can put that over there and put all my paint on that shelf. And then I can get rid of one of these tables and just use the table for painting. Beautiful. Get rid of these. This needs to be purged. All these tools and stuff over here need to be purged. Completely purged. Doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of stuff like the drill press I use quite often. Okay, I've got a lot of automotive tools down there. I've got a belt sander and a chop saw and a few other things I don't want to get rid of. They just need to be organized and put away properly. And same thing with this rack. Probably about half the stuff in this rack right here can be just heaved and gone. Same thing with this. About half the stuff can be heaved and gone. Like I haven't used that planer in I don't know how long. That aquarium has not been used in 10 years. I need to do something with it. Use it or get rid of it. Okay. The gargoyles up there, they get used at Halloween. The lamps need to go. We never use them. I'm just going to curb them. I'm curbing a lot of stuff just simply to get rid of it and not deal with it. Now, why am I changing all the decorations in this house, purging so much? And we're walking to the master bedroom. That's the only room we haven't been in so far. Why am I doing all this? Well, one of the things I realized from divorce was that her and I shared this house. Okay? Her and I shared this house. And when I walked in the house, there were so many memories of her. She did the decorations. Yes, my plants, this plant is not in great shape. I need to fix that. It's 35, 40 years old. It needs, hasn't been repotted in 30. It needs to be repotted and revived. Same thing with that one. That's coming up this week. <sighs> yeah, I gotta fix that too. I'm per currently working on purging this room. And this is all organized and ready to go. This needs to be sold off. These need to be moved out of the room. This stuff here needs to be taken care of. All I want to leave is this, the sign in the back, and probably this on here. I'm going to get rid of that in the back too. But what I was saying is one of the reasons why I went through here and dramatically changed anything, like that artwork over the bed, that wasn't there. That's new, okay? And I changed the lighting at the top. I don't know if that can show on camera. It does. That can change colors. That's LED light drip, light strips. I changed that. I changed all the fixtures in the bathroom. Got a dog. Hello, doggy. Okay, that's my dog. And because she had a lot to do with the decorations in this house. If I can get rid of the decorations and change it, it becomes my house. It doesn't feel like her when I come home. It feels like me. I needed to change, as some people put, the energy in the feel of the house. So I did. It made it more my place. And that's why all of this is going to go away. Even though I had this dining room set well before I married her. Okay. I'm changing all this. I'm changing how the house looks for that reason. It needs to be mine. It needs to be my place, not our place. Okay? So when I walk around this house, it doesn't remind me of her. For example, if we have got that fireplace decorated, she never would have allowed any of that. That flower over in the corner, too much red. Red was forbidden. Okay? It's not that I don't like red. I mean, I do. I don't mind the blue. If I minded the blue, I wouldn't have bought that rug because we didn't have a blue rug there. We had a white and green rug. 
but you need to change the house for you. And if you move, get rid of your furniture, get new furniture, you'll feel a lot, lot better if you can afford it. That's just some advice from getting a divorce. Okay, change things. And I'm going <laughs> to, the funeral home plants were a part of my change and they're going away. It's too much funeral home. All right, this video is long enough. This is just kind of like the first video to show up. I will occasionally put videos up. My goal is every other week to get a video up, just talking about some subject in divorce, like things I did right, things I did wrong, kids, how to take care of kids, should a two-year-old have chores, stuff like that. Hope you've all enjoyed. Subscribe if you liked.